Okay, today so we're looking at trig questions using the area of a triangle formula, which is half AB sine C, or A times B times the angle in between. So if we're to use any triangle here, and here was A, and here was B, this would be the sine of C, the angle in between. Okay, so we're given this question here. Three bottles of perfume come in a special gift set. Each bottle is in its own individual canister. Then the three canisters are placed into a gift box as shown. Each canister has a radius of five centimeters and all three canisters touch each other in the gift box. What is the area of the space between the canisters? Okay, so I'm told one piece of information from that. It says each canister has a radius of five centimeters. So, just to connect that in, I could say that the radius from here to here is five centimeters and so on. From that, I can deduce that I could actually make an equilateral triangle. I could do that because the radius from here to here to this center would be 10. The radius from here to here would also be 10 delete that uh, if that was hidden off the center so I just need to adjust that a little bit and the last one is 10 as well okay so I've now placed an equilateral triangle and in that I know that um, if the sides are all the same so I know obviously the sides of all of these are 10 I'm going to also know that the angles are all the same and so this would be 60 degrees as shown. Okay, so what else can I learn or what else can I work with? What I might do here is I might try and create different shapes if I can and help to see if I can work out words. I'm going to use this shape here because I obviously know that from here to here is going to be five centimeters. Likewise is this, okay? But this here would create for me a different type of triangle, isosceles, but a different type of triangle. So I'd like to figure out, I obviously know that they are both radiuses, so they're both five, so these angles are going to be the same. So what I would like to figure out is I'd like to figure out maybe what this angle here is. Now, is there a way I can figure out what this angle here is? Well, you can see here, this is an equilateral triangle. I could also make another equilateral triangle here, okay? And our, by our similar triangles, we can tell then that this would be 60 degrees and this would be 60 degrees. And you can see here, this is an angle that is built on an arc, okay? And theorem six uh, talks about the angle that are, are on the same arc, okay? And this angle here would actually be double. So this is 120 degrees. That will help me just finish off this one, which is 30 degrees and 30 degrees there. Okay, so I've figured out a little bit more and I'm thinking to myself, I wonder, can I see this triangle, this triangle anywhere else? And I actually can, I can spot it again here. So that's obviously going to be five here and five here and then here I'm going to have my okay so this triangle is the same as this triangle which is also the same as this one here so again I've got my two fives and my flat line here okay I'm going to label some of these just so I have an idea I'm going to call this one a b c and I might call this one D, E, okay? And you can spot I've got three of those triangles. Um, is there anything else that's still coming up? Yeah, you can see here I have um, this triangle here, which is the same as this triangle here, which is the same as this triangle here. Okay, and so I need to work out the area of these triangles. 
last thing I can see here is I can actually see that I could divide this into two squares. Okay, uh, and I'll have four squares here. So what I've done on this shape is I've divided it into as many shapes as I can. Uh, I suppose noticing uh, the equilateral triangles and the isosceles triangles. So I suppose now that I've worked it out a little part, I might try and find some unknowns that might help me. So if we look at this triangle here, we actually have nothing there. We have no information there and we'd like to change that. So I'm going to focus on finding this here. We I suppose we can come up with the fact that this is probably an equilateral triangle, but I suppose we'll have to test that in time. So how am I going to find the base of this triangle? Well, I have three included angles. So if I just look at that triangle separately, Okay, I know that this is 30 degrees, this is 30 degrees, and this is 120 degrees, and I'm looking for this one here. So if I've gotten three angles and I'm looking for a side, I can use the cosine rule. Okay, so I've written down the cosine rule here. I obviously also know that this is a radius and this is a radius, so this is going to be 5 and 5. So remember your a squared and your a are super important here. And um, I'm looking to find this one here. So that's going to be my a. So I'm going to call it x squared equals 5 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 5 by 5 cause of 120. OK, and I'd like you to work all that down and just make sure that you do end up finding the answer. Get x squared equals 75. So x is equal to root 75, which is the same as saying root 25 by root 3, which is the same as writing 5 root 3. So what have I learned now? I've learned that this here is 5 root 3. OK, so I actually have a lot of information now that I could maybe go and try and find out the area of all of these little parts here. Um, what I'm going to first of all do is I'm going to find the area of the circles and then I'll find out the area of all the triangles and squares and then I'll subtract one from the other and I should get the space then. So I'm going to start off by finding the area of the three circles. Okay, so formula for area of a circle is pi or squared and we've got three of those so it's three pi or squared which in this case is going to be three times pi times r squared, which is 5 squared, and we can work that out to be 75 pi. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I've now found the circles. I might do them in kind of the blue here. So they're all done. And what I'll do is I'm going to find the area of absolutely all the triangles and squares, and then subtract that from 75 pi. So I'll just take away those blue circles now so that we're not staring at them for a little bit. Okay, the next thing I'm going to find is the area of, I'm going to find the area of this triangle here. So I'm going to do it in green. So I'm going to find the area of that, but I'm obviously going to multiply that answer by three because there's three of those. Okay, so I'm trying to find the area of the triangle DEF. So what do I know already? Well, I know that the base of this is five root three. And um, I can also tell that it's an equilateral triangle. So therefore, that means 5 root 3 as well and 5 root 3 as well. If it's an equilateral triangle, it also means that this angle in here is 60 degrees. So I can use that information now to find the area of this triangle. And I'm going to use the formula half AB sine so it'll be half, and I'm going to focus on this, on this, and this. So it'll be half 5 root 3 by 5 root 3 by the sine of 60 degrees. And because there are three of those triangles, 1, 2, 3, I'll be multiplying that full answer by 3. And the answer I'm getting is 200 and 25 
uh, root 3, root 3 all over 4. Okay, so that is the area of these green triangles here. Okay, the next one I'm going to find out is the area of this major triangle here, which is ABC. Okay, and again, I'm going to use the um, formula half AB sine C. So with this um, triangle, it's really important that you recognize that there's two radiuses here. So I'm actually dealing with a triangle that is 60, 60 and 60, but 10, 10 and 10. And I'm going to focus on this bit here. So it's going to be half 10 by 10 by the sine of 60 degrees and hopefully you will get 25 root 3 when you work that out okay so there's only one of those okay so I'm just going to color in now I suppose what I've worked out already so I'll color it in in green so we've worked out this triangle we've worked out this big triangle here we've worked out these two triangles here okay so you'll notice then I'll just do it in um, do it in black if I can you'll notice we still have this triangle here to do and there's three of those so we're going to do that one now all right so we're going to focus on the triangle BDE just for our notes to make things a little bit easier okay so if I was to just zoom in on this triangle and draw it like that. I know that this is five. I know that this is five. And I've worked out this is five root three. I worked that out from earlier on. Um, so I also know that this is 30 degrees. This is 30 degrees. I'm from my theorem earlier on. I know this is 120. And we're going to find the area of this triangle. So I'm going to use half AB sine C. And it's going to be half five by 5 root 3 by the sine of 30 okay and once I get that answer I'm going to remember that I'm multiplying it by 3 because there is three of those whoops sorry wrong triangles the black ones uh, so that's going to give 75 root 3 over 4 okay so I'm just left now with the last remaining part that I haven't worked out, which is these squares. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have the six, six squares. Okay. Oops. All right. Okay. All right. So if we zoom in here, we know that from here to here is a radius and from here to here is a radius and they're both five which means our squares are five here okay so we find the area of a square so it's obviously five by five and remember there's six of those so it's going to be six times 25 is equal to 150 and that's all with centimeters squared or units squared whatever we're dealing with right so that's it. We've gotten all of the shapes. Originally, we were asked, what does the perfume bottles not cover? So when we worked out the area of the circles, it was 75 pi. So it's going to be 75 pi minus, and we'll do all this in brackets, our area of the triangles, the first one. So 225 root 3 over 4 minus the area of the triangle ABD, 25 root 3, minus the area of the triangles BDE, and there was three of those. So it's going to be 75 root 3 all over 4, minus the area of the six squares, which is 150. Okay. Final answer, when that's fully completed, is 87.5. Five nine units squared is the area not covered by the three circles. 